hey guys welcome back if you're new welcome I want to thank you for coming along for all of these home searches because this is a DIY and home decor channel so I do appreciate you guys supporting me with my home search and I've been getting a lot of great feedback and was told to keep doing them so thank you guys so much I really appreciate each and every one of you so today we're gonna to be looking at the next M6 160 and this is a, a modular home and this is the floor plan and I love that dental mold and we were coming into the door really nice hardy siding also but this is the living room and as you can see it's a really nice size room and just to let you guys know ahead of time there was no electricity or power in here so the lighting will wane in and out a little bit so just ask that you guys bear with me for this home tour so yeah this is um, a modular it's by Clayton and I will leave all of the information in the description bar below about the size the amount of bedrooms and bathrooms and also the um, 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 the actual amount of the house uh, as far as the pricing yes yeah, so guys do you see this kitchen is it not big and beautiful that island you can lay down and go to sleep on that island it's huge I am so stoked and excited excited about this home and showing you guys this home so I don't want to get too excited so before we get started let me just pan around so that I can show you where we entered into the house there's the front door with the beautiful dental molding on it and all that beautiful um, trim that you see it's sort of big and rustic but sort of neat and clean I love it and they also have a unique flooring with wide plank flooring so we're gonna get into the tour first thing I'm gonna show you is the kitchen do you see the surround around that refrigerator and it gives you the opportunity to get a really oversized refrigerator with French doors love it love it love it now as far as the kitchen I am stoked about this kitchen it has uber storage it has a lot of natural lighting with those two windows flanking each side of the stove and in this particular home I was told that this package with these stainless steel appliances is actually not an upgrade it's included but the cabinet space is incredible and I like the counters also it looks like it's um, soapstone or something but I just love this whole rustic look and that ship black backsplash is giving me life also love it now on this island a lot of people they don't like the island to have a sink but this island is so huge and so well laid out that this sink in the island isn't diminishing from the prep and serving space and this would be great for entertaining but I think this is probably one of the biggest islands I've ever seen they also have these pendant lights that are so cute and the way it all it just works out so well for me and this island also has plenty of storage and the actual dishwasher is located here some of these homes don't have a dishwasher or you have to pay extra for it and this one actually has it it also has outlets for convenience but guys do you see how big this island is is that not amazing I could imagine myself doing everything prepping entertaining you name it it's going down on this island it's just amazing but this kitchen is beautiful I think this is probably one of my favorite kitchens that I saw which I'm surprised about I'm really not into chip lap like that but the way they laid this out really makes it work for me so now we're gonna go to the laundry room this laundry room does not have an egress an exit so just letting you guys know but it does have plenty of room for your washer and dryer they also have storage on the other side of the door and I love this screen door I think it's so unique I haven't seen any home that had like a screen door like that and it's just it's just so quaint and cute I love it but it's definitely enough room to do what you need to do it just does not have um, you know, like I said an egress now we're gonna move over to where they do have a back door and that's the dining room now I know they have a huge kitchen with a large island with plenty of storage there's the cupboards by the way I could not open the cabinets in the doors when I filmed this I filmed this a long time ago I'm just now putting it up but yeah the dining room is huge and um, it's definitely a, a big enough to accommodate any size table that you can possibly think of as you can see there's a lot of room 
And that's where the back doors are. It's a sliding glass door, but you can upgrade that to French doors if you like. But I just wanted to pan back and let you guys see how much room there is. And this home is awesome because it has two living spaces. So right next to the dining room is a den and or family room. And as you can see, it's tricked out. They have this beautiful beam work with the fan, which is included also. The beam work, I think, is an option if I'm not mistaken. And then they have a feature wall back there also. And I love that. It's a really nice size room and it's always nice to have more than one living space. Now here's the bedrooms. This is a three bedroom. This is one of the bedrooms. I'm going to go all the way to the corner to pan back so that got way you guys can see how big it is. And it's a really nice room. I love a nice room that has a great size to it. The closet is a regular closet. It's not a walk-in. But it'll definitely be good for guests or children or anyone, you know, that's in the home. This is the main shared bathroom. It has a vinyl surround in it. You can upgrade it to getting tiles and you can do tiling all the way up. But as you can see, it has a nice deep tub for baths for children and such. And it's a nice size and it has that same chunky molding that you found throughout the home. I did notice that it did not have a linen closet, but there is room for storage under the sink if you saw that guy. So yeah, I do like a linen closet though. I have to say I'm partial to a linen closet. <laughs> Um, and this is the other bedroom and it's actually the exact same size as the previous bedroom and that means closet space also. Now we're going to move on to the master and as you can see they have that beautiful large plank wood flooring and some big large windows for great great um, natural lighting. I was a little disappointed in the closet. This is the master closet. It's big enough for if you have to go with it, but I do like to have a little bit more space in the closet for me and the hubby. Yeah, because we would be sharing it. And I noticed that they didn't have any linen closets in this home. So that's the only thing I didn't like. I know you guys are gonna give me some feedback about that too. <laughs> but this is the master bath. It's great, it has two sinks and it has a big beautiful soaking tub. The window by the bathtub is a little weird, but that's an easy fix with shades and curtains. Here is the commode. It's not in the closet, but it is um, right adjacent to the tub and sort of out of sight. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, there's no linen closet in here, guys. Uh, there is some storage underneath, but I do like this feature wall. That's sort of cute. It's a little different. Yep, it, the tub is nice too, a nice soaking tub. I can imagine myself relaxing in here in the evening. And there is the storage. There is plenty of storage under the sink, but once again, I guess that's where you would have to place your linens. But yeah. And of course, there is a, a shower. The shower and the tub are separated. I do like this. You can see they have it tiled. And that's nice also, really nice shower. I like the sizing of it, it's nice and big, but it's not too big, so it'll be easy to clean. I think about those things, guys. Don't, don't, get, <laughs> don't get upset with me, but I think about those things also. But yeah, this is a nice size bedroom. I really like the size of it. And that's basically it, so I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. They really help us out when you give us a thumbs up for videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Be safe, be well, be blessed, and I'll see you guys next time.